Hey guys, we are back again with another YouTube video. This week we want to honor National Coming Out Day, which was October 11th, by telling you our own coming out stories. I feel like <laughs> gays like coming out, like telling telling your partner your coming out story is kind of something a lot of people do on the first date. Don't you feel like you go out, you have a first date, and it's like, oh, so like, was coming out hard for you? How's your family taking it? I think that is one of the questions. For gays, it's like, do you have any siblings? Yeah. All right, sorry. For, for <laughs> straight couples, they're like, do you have any siblings? Where you go to college? Yeah. For gays, it's like, how was coming out? Yeah. How did your family take it? I feel like I've talked about that on many, many first dates. Yeah. So the first people I told that I was gay were two of my best girlfriends in college at a party. Me and my best girlfriend. I first said I was bi, but deep down I knew I was gay. And they took it really well and but after I told those two, I like wasn't able to tell anyone else for a little bit. But anytime I had like something gay to talk about, I would call these two girls up. And I always <laughs> will remember what she said to me. She was like, I don't know anything about gay people, but I'm here and I want to learn with you. Her and I grew up in central Pennsylvania where it was very, Ew, you know, the first time I tried to tell someone in my family was my brother. We were home for a holiday break. We were in bed watching t TV, a movie. I don't even remember what movie it was. And I just remember how nervous I was sitting there. Like, I'm gonna do it now, I'm gonna do it now. And probably for like 15, 20 minutes, I kept like in my head saying, I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna start the conversation now. I do it and I tell him and I just, I'm crying and I'm real quick about it. And I look over and he's dead asleep. He didn't hear one word I said. Did I ever tell you? I do, I do remember this, I do remember this part of the story. I also came out as bi, which I feel like our generation did that a lot more. Like I had a lot of friends from high school or acquaintances or just classmates that when they came out, they would come out as bisexual at first. And not saying like some of them aren't actually bisexual, but a lot of them later on, myself included, would be like, no, that was just a, an easy way of, you know, my coming out process is coming out as bi first. I honestly think that is the exact reason why our generation thinks that way about people who say they're bi. I think everybody so. I knew in my, like when I came out into my early 20s first said bi. Yeah. Like 90%. Yeah. And I, and like mo most of them are not bi. Yeah. I think I mentioned in a video before that I was raised Mormon. When I was a senior in high school, I started to drift away from that and started hanging out with a different crowd, different group of people, and we started partying, and I would go to, woo! I was going to, um... Shuck your titties. <laughs> <laughs> My last girlfriend that I had, she was actually uh, bisexual and is bisexual. Two weeks out of high school, we went to a rave together. I was dancing with my ex-girlfriend. Bye lover. <laughs> <laughs> we were already exes at the time, we were already friends. Oh. But I was dancing with her and I came out to her as bi. I always remember what she said to me. She like grabbed my face and looked me dead in the eye and she's like, Sumner, never be ashamed of who you are, I love you. And then she was like, let's go find you some boys to make out with. <laughs> and she did. And then that's how I met my first boyfriend that night. <laughs> I think the next person I told was, well, like, so that night we were with friends. And so multiple friends saw me make out with boys. Oh. And, <laughs> and so like, it got around to friends pretty quickly because the guy, that I ended up ended up being my first boyfriend that I met that night. Like we started dating pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So like I told friends pretty fast. Like because yeah. the whole group just started to find out. Yeah. And no one cared. I think that's the main reason I didn't tell my parents right away is I didn't feel the need to because I wasn't dating anybody. Yeah. So when a, a few months later when I did tell them it was because I was dating somebody. Because the, the boyfriend I did at the time did have at the time was giving me like time off, like a like a, an expiration date, yeah. which isn't fair. No, it was not fair. Especially uh, especially when you're you're so new. He knew you were newly coming out to yourself. 
Yeah. You know, it's not like you've yeah. been hiding it from them for a decade yeah. or something. And the Even worst that, thing that I didn't like is, you know, all gay men have some like signs that they're gay their whole life. And you tell people and they're like, oh, I already knew that. I already knew that. It's like, okay, I might have, a, have some like gay characteristics, but like, I didn't even know. So you didn't know, cause I didn't know. It's, yeah. you know, it's something, it's like maturity. You're, you're growing, your emotions are growing, your sexuality is growing. And yeah. I, when, if someone tells you that they're gay, don't say, oh, I already knew that. Like that, I think is a little bit of a slap in the face. Um, <laughs> For you, you know, you've mentioned this to me before that you, you say you, I'm like, when did you kind of come to realization? And you always talk about like, you really didn't know growing up. Yeah. Like you never had like a, oh, I, I'm attracted to boys or I, yeah. and that is something that I definitely went through. And I know a lot of people tend to say like, oh, I knew, f I knew f since I can remember that I liked yeah. boys or I knew that I was different. And I, I, I would just, that's something different for you. Cause that wasn't the case. Yeah. I feel like I was, I was very focused on school. So I, I guess I would be considered more very asexual you know, until I had my gay awakening, kind of. Yeah. You know, I didn't really care about sex at all. I didn't care, like, about dating or whatever. But once I met certain goals in my education, it's when I was like, okay, now, like, who do I like? I didn't tell my parents until, like, June. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, of 20, of 2000. 2008. 20, 2008. 28. Yeah. Um... um yeah, but then I mean, I I love my parents, and you know, I was scared of coming out. I knew they would love me no matter what, but I did grow up with some like not the best words being used when it came to gay people, um, just from you know where I was where I grew up. Um, so I was nervous, but. I told my mom first because she's my best friend and you know, she cried a lot cause she's just emotional. I mean, you know, she cries about everything. So I didn't really take that as an insult. Yeah. Um, I think she, one thing my mother said when I told her is she's like, she's like, I'm not upset that you're gay, but no parent wishes, has a child and wishes that they're gay. And I kind of thought about that and was like, Wow, that it makes sense, you know? For their generation. Yeah, yeah. Like where they grew up. Yeah. In Pennsylvania. Um she just she just was like, I didn't I don't want you to have a hard time. You know, it's that's kind of like was a big thing. And we decided together not that I wasn't going to tell my father, that she would tell my father. So I went back to college and then she told him. And then two days later they drove to college and got dinner with me and my dad was like, I don't give a fuck what you are. He's like, just stop with all the lies. <laughs> and then eventually my brother lived, lived away from me at this time. So I had called him, told him the whole story about how I already told him and him and his wife and he didn't say anything. And I just remember my sister-in-law who I love going, Chris, say something. <laughs> and they were, they're very, progressive and you know so much love from them i think i think i told my mom first and then i told friends from church so um my mom and i were having a fight one day because i still lived at home i was 17 even though i was out of high school like i graduated at 17 so i still lived at home one day my mom and i were just fighting and in the midst of a fight and i had been dating my first boyfriend for maybe like a month at this time and so I, I decided to go into the room after she had like walked out on me and I ran into her room and I was like, well, you know what, mom, I'm bi. And then I slammed the door. Oh, you got her good. I got her good. <laughs> and I also lived with my grandparents too, but they had no idea what was happening. They just thought we were fighting. And so I just went in my room and I like waited to see like what was gonna happen next. And, um, and then it was like quiet for a few minutes and then she walked in and she was just like, are you being serious Sumner? Are you just trying to get a rise out of me or something like that? I found out that like while my mom was, you know, very Mormon, she had had a time in her twenties where she had left 
the church and um, done some things. Experimented. Experimented. She was a little bit more exposed to stuff than the rest of my family, so she was a lot more understanding and um, I just remember being a pretty easy process with her. But then I did tell, start telling friends at church and then that got back to church leaders and then I got a the call. Elders. <laughs> the elders. The elders of the Mormon church. I don't know if anyone knows what a bishop is. A bitch. A bitch. A bitch. A bitch. <laughs> and so got a call one day. I don't really know what, what, what month this was. I think it was I think it was like before the end of the year, before the end of 2007. But I got a call saying, hey, you know, we heard this rumor. And I was like, you know, it's true. I hadn't even gone to church like in a year and a half. So I don't know why they were even so focused on me. But, um, troublemaker, I guess. So they're like, okay, well, if this is true and you're not wanting to do anything about it, then, you know, we're gonna have to take necessary actions. You don't wanna do anything about it? Like go to like a camp or something? I don't know what they were expecting. Me to deny it or me to come in and be like, I wanna repent of my sins. I don't know. Oh. But, um, all the sin. <laughs> like two or three weeks later, I got a letter saying that my records had been removed from the Mormon church, so I was no longer considered baptized or a member. And my mom did cry, but she only cried because she was, she didn't want me to like be mad at the church. She wasn't angry with me or thought that I was in the wrong. She actually thought the church was in the wrong um, for just automatically doing that without, basically just, she felt like the church just disowned me and they kind of did, but I don't really, I didn't really care. As far as the rest of my family, my mom did most of the coming out for me. She told my grandparents and then she told a lot of her siblings, my aunts, and I did have a family member call social services. Um, I guess I forgot to mention my boyfriend that I started dating, he was six years older than me, so he was 23. I was 17, I was about two months from being 18, so my mom was okay with that but I did have a family member call social services. Social services came and, and basically claimed that there was a sexual predator visiting the house or whatnot, and uh, nothing happened. But, uh, and I do forgive my family members for doing that. Um, of course, it is something I didn't, don't and won't forget about, but I do forgive them. Is it coming out for you, but it's also a coming out process for your family members that you're coming out to because you know you might have been spending years coming out to yourself and learning to accept yourself and sometimes you can't expect them to do it in a day. You can't expect them to do it, yeah, right away or mm -hmm. sometimes they won't have the reaction that you were hoping for, but that's okay. They're they're pros they're processing you coming out as well. But what I think to take away from National Coming Out Day is not pressure to come out. Um, I think it's a day to celebrate if you are out. And I think it is helpful for us who are out to celebrate, to show people who are still living in fear or feel like they can't come out for some reason that we support them. Or they have a network of people that support them. Mm -hmm. um, I've never been one that feels like you need to announce your sexuality to the world. I, you know, you know, my straight friends don't say, hey, I'm straight, you know? It, it's kind of, it's weird the, if you think about it. And, but now I see it's more about showing people who need help or support that we're here, you know? That's kind of how yeah. I look at it. I like though, I like that meme that we saw, I guess a couple days ago, where it was like, who National Coming Out Day is for? Like it's for people that aren't out yet, it's for people that are out to some and not to others, it's for people that don't know which queer group they identify with, it's for, you know, people that are still living in fear. It's for everybody. It's not this that pe people who are out or have come out and it's not, it was said like, you don't have to be out to be proud. Yeah. You know, that you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to come out to people. You don't owe people the knowledge of your sexuality. Mm -hmm. Like you don't owe anybody that. So, and, uh, I don't know, I hope there's a day where we don't have to come out. <laughs> I, I will say, when I came out, this, my dad's best friend from high school, who I never met or saw or heard his name, 
just started hanging out with them again. And he's gay. It's like, I don't know what happened there. I'm not asking. But if my dad called him up, it's like, I'm sorry, man. My son's gay too. My son is gay too. Come on and hang out with me and my gay son together. That's <laughs> <laughs> like a hick though. That's our video for this week. Um, next week we're gonna try to maybe we're gonna do something not quite as deep and emotional. Well, I unless you guys want that. Well, no, no. Next week, I think what we're gonna do is we had a we had a photo shoot. We did some behind the scenes and we got the finished product. So we're gonna. Next week, I'm actually traveling for a photo shoot, so we're gonna upload that though next week so you guys have something. You'll see the behind the scenes and finished finish product with some photos. Cool. Yeah. I like that. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to like, hit the subscribe button. Yeah. And, we'll and if see you have any other questions about our coming out stories, just post them in the comments and hopefully we can get the answers to you. Yeah, I'm sure we didn't get through everything. So, so. but thank you guys. All right, bye. Bye.